Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm a first year medical student at the University of Toronto in Canada and I'm going to be taking you along today to show you what a day in my life looks like. Let's get into it. Good morning everybody. It's 5.38 and I have to get to the hospital pretty soon. So let's make some coffee first. Okay, so guys, it's only 6.30 and I had to leave at 7, so it seems I've miscalculated my timings. So I'm going to make up for that time by doing a what's in my bag so you guys can see what I take to school every single day. Today I have clinical skills, so it's a little different. Clinical skills is where you learn things like BP, heart rate, how to talk to patients, things like that. Today we're learning how to do a heart exam, so the things I take will be related to that. This is the backpack that CMA and OMA gives us every single year. So there's a different color every single year. And if you didn't know this, if you're outside of Canada, every medical student in a specific year gets the same backpack. So let's say you're walking on the street and you see the same color backpack, you know they're in your year. Similarly, it also helps identify people who are up years. So people last year had an orange backpack. So if I see someone walking with an orange backpack, I know that person started medical school last year. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Okay, so the first thing I have in the backpack is a stethoscope. This is just a classic Lippmann uh, triple black. Uh, I know I, I've gotten a lot of hate for it, but it's a very good stethoscope and absolutely recommend. The second thing I have in my backpack is the MacBook Pro. I think this is a 2021 or 2022 version. It's the one with the M1 chip. To be honest, it's kind of overkill for medical school because I'm just taking notes. I'm not like coding or something. So I would prefer to go back in time and get the MacBook Air, but I do have this and it does really help with editing. So I'm not gonna complain. Something else I have, my bag is actually pretty empty today, is an umbrella. And you may ask, what are you doing with an umbrella in January in Canada? The answer is the weather here is really bipolar. One day it snows, one day it rains, one day it hails. You never know, so you gotta stay prepared. I have like so many lanyards. I have lanyards from like four different hospitals. I also take these AirPods with me everywhere because I have to commute a lot. If you didn't know, I'm a commuter this year. Yes, it sucks, but you save a lot of money. Um, and these help, these make it a little better. So other than that, I don't really carry much. I have this notebook that they gave us. So U of T Temerity Medicine notebook. And I just have this in case I don't want to take notes on the iPad. I'll cover up the name. But you can see the types of questions that we may ask right there. And um, the last thing I have is the water bottle. You got to stay hydrated. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you want to have a full what's in my bag and uh, we'll make it happen. Garen Hospital, which is a smaller hospital compared to all the other ones. But I feel like these hospitals actually have better teaching and the staff really enjoy what they're doing. So sometimes it's actually helpful being at a smaller hospital. Okay guys, we're on break now. We just went over the precordial exam and now we're gonna go get scrubs and then go back to class.
Okay guys, we just finished clinical skills and saw some patients. Now I'm going to return the scrubs and then go to lunch. The food was great. I had pad thai. And now I'm just at the subway station and I'm going to drive back home after that. I'm finally back at home and I have to admit I'm really tired after that really early morning but I'm going to a birthday party at night so I need to finish a lot of studying before I do that. Let me show you how my medical school teaches us and what the format is. The way we're taught is that we have different subjects or different organ systems every single week. So last week I had dermatology, this week I have cardiology. Sometimes it's more than a week, but it varies based on how dense the subject is. But every week we have pre-week material, which you're supposed to do before the Monday. And then you have a case-based material that you do on Mondays and Thursdays. And then you have self-learning material that you're supposed to do on your own time. This is on top of the other lectures that you actually have to go through on the other days. This week has been really hard, so I haven't been able to get much work done. So I'm going to try my best to get at least some of the lectures out of the way and the pre-week for sure, maybe some of the self-learning. I just came down to get a snack and I want to take a break for five minutes because studying does really get to you and you need some time to take off before you start again. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to answer one question that comes up all the time on our MedBoys YouTube channel and across our other social medias. What was my pre-med journey like? We're going to make an entire video on this, so we will have more detail, but I'll just go over it quickly. I went to U of T and double majored in neuroscience and in psychology. I was always fascinated by the brain and I wanted to do something that actually interested me rather than just give me high GPA, which is why I chose U of T neuroscience. And then I knew I always wanted to be a doctor. That's why after my second year, I took the MCAT over the summer and I was fortunate enough to get a good score to be able to apply to Ontario schools. I interviewed at three out of the four schools I applied to and I was also accepted into U of T the following May, which I am eternally grateful for. I always wanted to go to U of T because of how world renowned it is and the level of education and the level of teachers that they have. They have world-class doctors and hospitals. And I'm finding that to be true as every day passes by and I spend more time with people and with teachers. And I've just found it absolutely amazing. So that's just the gist of it. I'll get into more detail in a future video. Let me get back to studying. So it's been quite a while since I was recording. I finished quite a bit of work, was quite productive. And then I went to my friend's birthday, stayed there for a few hours and now I'm back. Tomorrow we're going to get on the grind again. And I'll see you next time on another day in the life of a medical student. Also, we have a big announcement. The Med Boys have started their own newsletter. In this newsletter, you're going to get free resources, MCAT and Casper tips, interview prep, and so much more. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Go join right now.